Live your wildest dreams. Live your wildest dreams. This is my first motivational video to the people, to you who's listening. And I want to say, live your wildest dreams. You know, it doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter what society says. You don't need to seek permission to live your dreams. And if you need any permission, I'm going to give you the permission right now to go and live your dreams. You know, when I first started making music, I was, I sought out permission from other people to see if I was good enough to write lyrics, to see if my lyrics were good enough. And in hindsight, you know, we as humans look for social validation, but forget all that. You know, we need to live as individuals and live our, live our best lives. So, you know, it doesn't matter what you want to do. If you want to start a business, if you want to travel the world, if you want to make music, if you want to make art, you know, maybe the, maybe you just want to get a nice beautiful home and that's your dream you know what I mean and maybe you want to live in the mountains where I'm at right now or maybe you want to live by the beach live your wildest dreams you know whatever you can imagine you can see in this world and I've, I've done that myself six six years ago you know I had a vision of making music making art traveling the world and doing great things and I'm at the point now where I've got music out you know and starting making music at the age of 22, 23, for some people it might seem impossible, but I knew within myself that I could do it with practice because 23 is still young in hindsight to being 33. And I'm not 33 yet, but as we look back, we're gonna see that, you know, we were in our younger ages and that we still got a lot of time ahead of us. And in saying that, we still don't know how much time is ahead of us. So we need to act now to make our dreams possible. My, my mentor told me, he said, map it out and trap it out. So whatever, you, so whatever your wildest dream is, map it out. See, see the direction that you need to take to get there. Pinpoint what it is you want, the places that you want to go, the person that you want to be. Pinpoint it and be specific about where you want to be going and then trap it out. Make those moves. Hustle, grind, you know, be persistent. Go hard at it. You know, and that's where I'm at right now is, you know, I'm just going hard at everything that I do, you know, whether it's on the job, making money, whether it's learning, whether it's making music, whether it's making these videos, you've got to put in the work, you know, so map it out, trap it out. And on the journey of going towards that pinpoint, you know, you're going to learn so much. You're going to become a better person. You're going, to, you're going to come across people that you never thought you would have come across and make some great relationships. And it's not really about the destination at the end of the day. It's about the journey. It's about the person that you become along the way. When I was 15, 16 years old, I had a dream of playing in the NBA, playing basketball back in high school. And... You know, I had big dreams, like I felt like nothing could stop me if I put my mind to it. And it was all very internal. I didn't really have anyone saying that I could do anything, but I just felt like it was possible. And I, wor I worked hard, you know, I was waking up at 5 a.m. to get to school at six o'clock in the morning to train at the gym all alone, five days a week. Then after school, I would go and train with the team. And then, and after that, I would just do some more training, mentally just studying the game and all those type of things. And that was during high school, I had those dreams of going to the NBA. And not all dreams work out. And sometimes for, that's for the best of us, you know. Sometimes we go through that process to filter out what we need to be actually, be, what we need to be doing in this world, you know. So I went through the process. I worked hard for three, four years. And obviously you need way more years than that to actually make it to the NBA. People start training when they're, you know, five years old. And I only started playing basketball at 15 and I wanted to make the NBA. Not writing that off, that dream, it's always possible to do it at that age. But when I turned 21, my life took a different direction. I stopped playing basketball and I said to myself, all right, this basketball thing's not working out. Let me have my options open to the world to see what I should actually be doing. So I traveled a lot. In my early 20s, I went to Europe, India, Nepal, Asia, New Zealand, uh, 
and I traveled, you know, I learned about cultures. I, I studied things that I was interested in. And it brought me to this place where I am now, where I opened my world so vastly to the possibilities of what I could be doing and, follow, and followed what I was curious about and what I was interested in. You know, I started making music, did a whole heap of photography in my earlier years. And now at 28 years old, you know, I had the dream in my early 20s that I would just be creative. I would be an artist in any, in any field. You know, I would be great at it. And here I am now that all the skills that have combined through those years since I was, you know, in my early 20s, where I'm at this very moment where I can articulate and express and share my ideas with people and express my art. So sometimes we go and have a dream at the very beginning of our life. We go through that process and maybe it doesn't work out. And if we listen to our intuition, we can figure that, okay, maybe this is not the path that I need to be on. I need to step back, go back down the mountain figure out where I do need to be going, what mountain I do need to go up, and then go up that mountain. And then through the process of that, the journey will let you know that you're on the right path. So I read a book by Jim Quick, and he talks about having a limitless mindset. And if you want to live your wildest dreams, you need to unlimit your mind and see the potential and possibilities and let your imagination just really go. And so the attributes to a limitless mind are motivation, mindset, and methods. So the motivation is, if you wanna live your wildest dreams, obviously you need to have the motivation to go and do it. Some people have the wildest dreams, the things that they wanna do in life, you know, make, make music, make albums, go around the world but they lack the motivation and the drive to actually put in the work so you've got to have the motivation mindset mindset is the belief that you can actually do it you know in your mind in your head the thoughts that you have you got to keep affirming to yourself that it's possible that it's possible and keep going keep driving because your limiting beliefs will stop you from achieving your wildest dreams if it's saying well you know if I do this it's not possible you know having this type of dream house in the mountains isn't possible if you're having those type of thoughts, you've got to pull those thoughts out and replace them with specific thoughts about what you want to be doing. So the mindset, you've got to have the mindset, you've got to have the motivation. And the third attribute to a limitless mindset to live your wildest dreams is methods. And the methods are, you know, the knowledge, the skills that it takes to get you to that point. If you want to travel the world, the method to travel the world is understanding that it's going to take some money, it's going to take knowledge of how to get to those places, you know, getting on aeroplanes, having a passport, knowing where to stay and where to go, how to communicate, how to avoid unnecessary, you know, troubles and problems on your travels. So it takes knowledge and methods. If you want to become an artist, if you want to become one of the greatest artists in the world as a painter, you need to have the methods and the skills to become a great painter. So all those three tie together motivation mindset and methods for you to get to your wildest dreams and to get to your highest point so to wrap it up i know you can do this i know i can do this i'm gonna keep pushing forward towards my wildest dreams my imagination is so vast that i imagine things so far ahead of time and i've seen it take place the evidence that i can actually do it because i'm at this place now Six years ago, I dreamed of making music and now I've got a project out. So going through that process has established within me that it is possible to use your imagination to dream, to achieve and do things in the future and make things manifest. So believe in yourself, find the motivation, find the drive to really pick yourself up and get it going. You know, you've got to put in the work. You've got to map it out. You've got to trap it out. You've got to hustle. And through the process of going towards your wildest dreams, you're gonna build the skills. You're gonna learn so much about yourself and about the world. You know, for example, you're gonna learn how to be patient, how to be persistent, how to have better social dynamics to get to where you wanna to go, to communicate with, with, with other people much better. You know, I always dreamed of making these type of videos on YouTube and expressing my thoughts and having the confidence, 
you know, but I didn't have, who knows, I could have just been lacking in motivation, mindset and methods, just the tiniest bit that stopped me from actually going to make these videos. And here I am now making the videos. I got the motivation, I got the belief and I got the methods. The methods was studying how to make YouTube videos, studying different speakers on how they, sp how they spoke and how I could express myself and putting in the work. You know, I've been making two videos a week expressing my thoughts and touching on different topics and through the through those two videos every week for the last three four months i've built the skills to be able to really express myself much clearly or maybe it was my mindset my limiting beliefs were saying i wasn't able to make these videos and i was thinking too much about what other people thought but fuck it here i am in the mountains with my tea speaking to you guys and i got the motivation to show up and do it so put in the work imagine what you, what's possible and go and do it we only got one life and you never know when this life's gonna go so you gotta put in the work <laughs>